I think it's no secret that on this channel, I love my customization. I love pushing my devices to their limits, and I love putting that little flair of me into everything I own. After all, if everything was exactly the same, it would be boring. It's also why every single smartphone I ever bought had the requirement of being able to unlock its bootloader. But on the Quest, you can't unlock the bootloader. That is, unless you have the Oculus Go. But we still have quite a few options given to us for customization. And today we're going to be taking a look at one of the biggest ones. What is up everyone? I hope you're all having a fantastic Easter. I'm Mystical, and today I'm going to be bringing you a video on how you can install custom homes onto your Quest devices. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. I'm super excited for this video. This has been a long time coming because I do believe that the last video we made on this was actually incredibly difficult and now it's a lot easier and just a whole ton more automated. Now you will still require a quest with developer mode enabled. So in case you haven't done this already, make sure to set up a developer account. This costs you nothing and enable developer mode on your headset inside the MetaQuest app. Now, once you've done this, it's all downhill from here. What you will now require is some form of a computer. This computer does not need to be VR ready. Then onto that computer, you will want to download the SideQuest installer. Now, this has been out for a while, but a surprising amount of people still don't know that you can actually get SideQuest right on your device itself. So once you have the SideQuest installer, plug your device, while it's on of course, into the computer. You might get a dialogue inside your headset asking you if you want to trust this computer if this is your first time plugging the device in with developer mode enabled. So just click always allow. Once you've done that, your quest should show up in the side quest installer and all you do is you install side quest onto the headset from there, following the instructions that are showing up on the screen. Once this is done, you may unplug your quest from your computer and let's jump into the headset itself. Now, if you've never installed unknown sources apps before, all you do to access them is go into the top right here, click on unknown sources and all your third party apps that don't come from the store will show up on a list right here. And as you can see, SideQuest is now at the very top as this is what we have recently installed. I still wish Meta made the unknown sources tab look a little bit prettier, maybe allow for icons, allow us to move things around, kind of more like an app drawer, but unfortunately this isn't the case yet. With that being said though, what you'll want to do from here is click on SideQuest. Using a different device, go onto the website that is now being shown to you on the screen and type in the code that is being given to you inside your headset. This will link your SideQuest account to your headset, and this will allow you to not only access the entire library of apps and games that are available on SideQuest on the PC variant, meaning you will not have to plug your Quest into your computer ever again, but off to this hamburger menu right here, you will also notice there's an entire library of custom homes and custom environments that you can install. And you can browse through them, select whichever one you like, and once you find one that you think you're going to enjoy, click on it, click on install, and this will install the home environment directly onto your headset. You can install as many of these as you would like, and then once you have them installed, you can jump in to your Quest settings, go to environments, and in here you should see your brand new custom home environment. Once you've found this environment, click on it and apply it. This should bring you right into your brand new custom home environment on your Quest. Just like I said, super, super simple. However, an issue arises if you're on V51 or higher. As if you've been keeping up to date, you would know that this update introduced some major changes to the Android system on the Quest. And unfortunately, installing custom homes on this version is a little bit more difficult, as installing them through SideQuest on your Quest itself will not work. They will not show up inside your custom home environments until this is fixed. For now, what you will need to do is you will need to go on to the Quest Homes Discord, find the custom home environment that you want there, and download the APK file. Now, remember which APK file you're downloading, as this APK file we will need to use in order to replace a meta home environment. Once you have the home environment downloaded, plug your Quest into your computer, jump into the PC version of SideQuest, and jump in to the app section. Inside the app section, find and uninstall the meta home environment that we are going to be replacing. Remember to untick hide system apps, or else the default environments will not show up on the list. 
So as you can see here, this is the one I downloaded, so this is the one I'll be replacing. After I found it on the list inside SideQuest, I'm going to uninstall it. After this, I can go up in the top right here and select the APK file of the custom home environment that I downloaded. From here, once this is installed, you can unplug your quest and hop in to the virtual environment section. Then select the meta home environment. But this is actually your custom home environment. Since it was replaced, meta thinks it's a normal home environment when in reality, it isn't. I know that this is quite a bit of work, when on older versions it's so much easier, however for now we have to deal with this until a bypass is found. But yeah, you can still install custom home environments on v51, it's just a little bit more complicated. But what if you want a custom home environment that isn't available on SideQuest? Or what if you just want the plain old APK for installing with a phone or a different device? Well, I've got fantastic news for you. Down below, I'm going to leave a link to the Quest Homes Discord, where you will be able to find an entire plethora of custom home environments that you can download. This will allow you to download the APK directly and install it from something like a Quest or an Android phone using Bug Jaeger. There are some homes here that are not available on SideQuest, so hopefully you can find here what you can't find through there. And talking about installing through Android, let me show you exactly how you'd go about doing that. Well, first of all, you will require an Android device. This doesn't work on iOS. Secondly, what you will require is an app called Bug Jaeger. Once you have Bug Jaeger downloaded onto your phone from the Play Store, you will require either a Type-C to Type-C cable or an OTG adapter. You will still need developer mode enabled on your Quest, but now you will have to connect your Quest to your phone via that Type-C to Type-C cable or OTG adapter. Once you've done this, you might get a dialog showing up on your Quest asking you if you want to trust this device for ADB debugging if this is your first time plugging the two devices together. Now, on your phone, you will require an APK file, which is an application file of any custom home environment that you'd like. There's hundreds of different home environments that you can download here, so once you have that APK file downloaded from that Discord, you can jump into Bug Jaeger, make sure your Quest is showing up in the top left right here, then jump into this tab, click on the plus icon in the top right, select the APK file that you have just downloaded, and this should install that custom home environment directly onto your Quest. You can also access these home environments on that Discord using your Quest itself, if you have Discord on your Quest. And in case you don't know how to install APK files on your Quest, I'll leave a link to a video right up here. But yeah, there you guys go. A super short, super simple little video on how to get custom home environments onto your Quest. Not just through the side quest method, but also allowing you a larger library of different custom home environments that you might not be able to find on side quest. I'm sure there's other places where you can also find custom home environments, but these are the two that I know of, and there's more than enough here for me. Plus, I usually stick to the Minecraft home environment anyway. There's just something nice and cozy about it. But that is going to be it for today's video. Again, I wish you all a fantastic Easter. I hope you're all having a great day or night wherever you are, and let me know down below which custom home environments you guys are using, or if you're using any. If this video helped you out, please do leave a like. It helps the channel out, and it costs you nothing. If you disliked it, I guess this button works too, but let me know why down below. If you guys are not yet part of our community, check out our Discord and check out our Reddit down below, where I want to see you posting your spicy memes. And thank you so, so much to all the patrons supporting this channel. You guys are helping me out a ton, and I don't know how to thank you enough. And all those names are going off to my right right now. And as usual, if you guys want to be notified about future content coming up on the channel, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.